this day that we've been dreaming about for a long time. This is a dream of many, many people, and finally to have it at this point in time is really a pleasure and an honor. So I'm standing at these windows, which in a few months will become a newly imagined doorway that fulfills a great dream. To link students who use this building to the entire campus through a convenient artery and concourse that leads through to the very heart of the university. This celebration is the first of a number of events, renovations and changes that lead off our larger Transform UMSO plan that seeks to centralize and coalesce our academics on the North Campus here, of which this library is core. A renovation of this floor will include new study rooms, um, very popular with students and also very popular with donors we found. <laughs> Open, collaborative, and individual study areas, a new cafe, an updated information commons, reading nooks, and bookish central lounges are all part of a new student experience with unbroken vistas leading to outside plazas and courtyards. A center crossroads roads course on this floor will also lead directly to the grand stairway opening downstairs to the new Hosmer Sculpture Gallery. A 9,000 plus square foot mercantile library art museum for the story of the regional Missouri art and the renewed story of the mercantile library as the city's first art gallery. That will be on level two. Throughout the building, new lighting and security cameras will enhance restored glass foyers and the famous pyramid atrium. Upstairs on the fifth floor of the libraries will be a new office spaces for our dedicated staff, meeting rooms for small and large groups, a reimagined state of the art information instruction classroom and much needed storage space for a growing collection. There will also be a new security quarters for monitoring safety, a parents room for the convenience of the students and their children, and disabled access to the atrium give this project a deeply caring attitude for the benefit of our campus community. Name spaces that will be in this building imply the great history of our region and there will be many name spaces. All these features encompass the Chancellor's lead vision. Finally, I'd like to say this project cannot be done without your generosity and dedication to the UMSL Libraries. The Mercantile Libraries Historic Board and membership has led the way in this support. Also, we are grateful for private co corporations and generous foundations and federal and state matching money. A true combination of resources for success. Due to this generosity, we will finish this project in the next year and a half. What was originally estimated as a small project to open a new core to the North Quad quickly became, in reality, a $12 million capital campaign, which has garnered much needed funding right out of the gate. For this, we are all tremendously grateful. So thank you all.